Hello everyone. As you know, One Up Trader is one of the famous prop firms out there that provides different funding opportunities. So I took a chance and tried the 25k accounts with them. And you see the detailed result of this challenge here. And I thought to share and compare it with you with those that I have passed with Apex Trader funding. The reason I took this challenge is because Apex is good in terms of initial discount that provides on most of their accounts. But later on when you get funded, you have to pay data monthly fee around $85 per month. And most other prop firms that you see here, they either have a setup fee like you profit or they have later on the monthly data fee which ranges around $85 to $116 or more. But one up trader when you buy the challenge and get funded you pay no data fee and you get access to level 2 data free of charge also it has advantage of scaling later on and it still has a challenge of trailing drawdown but it's another advantage as i heard is you can withdraw the fund very quickly within 24 hours which is rare in this industry and for the apex was bi-monthly and also there is no withdrawal limit on what you make but apex had restricted rules and you can only withdraw limited amounts for the first few months so i registered on the 25k accounts that allow you to trade three mini contracts with profit goal of 1500 dollars and the total drawdown of 1500 so ratio of profit target to drawdown is one to one which is good with no daily loss limit and they allow you to take 100% of the first $10,000 profit completely without any commission. And later on, the split is 90%. And the rest is similar to other futures prop firms. So I tried this and registered it and received their email confirmation on the same day, on 16th of November. And the account was set up for me also on the same day. And to look at their rules for evaluation accounts briefly, you can see that they have trailing drawdown and explain it in this video that you can reference that which is similar to Apex Trader Funds accounts and also the other rules are similar so you have to do day trading and do not trade after the market close and also holidays and weekends and you can trade all future contracts within the permitted day trading times and all open trades need to be closed by 3.15 Chicago time which is 4.15 New York time so you have to close the trade earlier than Apex Trader funding. The rest of rules are very similar to other prop firms. The only new rule compared to Apex Trader funding is the consistency rule which is explained in their sites in detail so you cannot just pass the trades by one large win and runner so the duration of challenge for me was 15 trading days and you can see when i passed this on december 12th i received email confirmation from them on the 13th of december confirming that i passed all the rules and they're gonna place me with one of their funding partners and I had to fill several forms and then received emails on the December 15th from Mess Capital that they're checking my trades and also all requirements and uh, applications that I have completed. And finally on 18th of December I received the funding accounts with the login information. And because I was using Ninja Trader for my Apex Trader funds accounts, I was using multi charts and R Trader to place the trades on the uprofit and mess capital so this is the statistics of the trade from the uprofit dashboard and you see the amount of gains and loss and the average winning trades and losing trades and the average win to loss ratio the number of winning trades which was 96 compared to the losing trades which was 23 during the 15 trading days and the largest winning and losing trades and also the duration of holding trades and this shows the trailing drawdown which is automatically adjusted below the current balance and as the account grow and it goes higher the trailing drawdown also follow that and the balance should never touch and go below this red line of the trailing drawdown and you see that on 8th of december i reached the target but because i had to trade 15 days still i had to trade three more days to complete the 15 day requirements this shows the daily profit and loss that ranges from minus 100 on the losing days up to 500 on the winning days and most days you see that it was positive and this graph shows the daily win rate which ranges from about 40 to 100 percent mostly above 70 percent 
and this shows also performance by day of the week that you see during the three weeks all these days on average were positive and this graph shows the trade distribution by hours of the day which shows the trades were taken during the New York time market mostly at the beginning and this shows trade distribution by instrument so I mainly traded the YM which is the Dow Jones industrial average futures and its micro contract and also micro Nasdaq and in this pie chart it shows the win rate which was on average 83 percent and that is due to the fact that i was taking the setup t which is the main setup we teach on the price action algo trading which provides high win rate and low account drawdown and you see also here consistency and the fact that the account doesn't have much drawdown and it goes up steadily with no fluctuations and for the detail of all these trades you can refer to our website and check the trading journal page that we post daily trades here or you can go to our youtube site on the playlist and you can find the price action algo trading journal and the trades that i post every day to see the detail of all these trades so hope this information is useful for you to see how the price action algo trading works regardless of the prop firm difficulties and regulations to consistently trade with low drawdown and high win rate which is very suitable to receive fundings from various prop firms if you have any questions please let us know and have a great day and happy holidays